Okay, I'll be doing many more videos on how to repair appliances. So subscribe. Uh, hit the like button if you like the videos. And comment good or bad. Also, if I use a part to repair the appliances, I'll put a link in the description so you can buy from this channel. Let's get started. Today I'll be showing you how to remove and install a shift actuator on this Whirlpool washer. The tools you're going to need for this project is a Phillips head screwdriver and a 5 16th nut driver. And this is a shift actuator. This is the part you'll be installing on the actual washer. Okay, for safety reasons, the first thing you want to do is unplug the power cord from the plug. Now you're going to want to turn off the hot and cold water lines that goes to the washer to make sure no water be coming out. Now you're going to want to remove the water lines from the rear of the washer. You can take some pliers or by hand and screw them off each side. That's your hot line. And this would be your cold line. Just screw them all off and put them out the way. Okay, now you're going to remove the drain line. Just get a pair of pliers, squeeze the clamps, pull them forward, and remove the drain line. Be careful. There should be some water still in the line, so you might want to get a bucket or a cloth. Now you're going to want to tape the lid down. So get two pieces of tape and tape the lid to the body of the washer because you're going to be uh, laying the washer down. Okay, now you're going to want to grab the front and the rear panel of the washer and gently lay it down on its back, which will expose you to the actuator that needs to be replaced. Okay, now you're going to remove the belt guard, which consists of two 5 16 screws. So you're going to need that 5 16 nut driver to rem remove those two screws. Just remove the one on the left and the one on the right. And now the shift actuator is exposed and ready to be removed. Now you're going to remove the connector on the shifter. Just push down and pull out. Now remove the two green Phillips head screws from the shifter, which mounts the shifter onto the washer. Okay, here are the two shifters, the new shifter and the old shifter. You want to kind of compare the two to make sure you get the right one. Also, make sure you put an X on the old shifter to make sure you don't put the old one back on. Okay, now to remount the shifter. The leg I just tapped on goes right in that little circle right there where this filled screwdriver I just showed you with. So... Slide the leg inside the little hoop there and start mounting the green Phillips head screws to the washer. There's one screw and there's the other green screw. When you do screw them in, don't screw them in tight till both screws are in. 
Once they're in, then you can screw both sides, just so you have a little wiggle room to be able to move it around and adjust it into the right parts. Check to see if it's nice and tight. Now reconnect the connector to the shifter. Slide it in. Make sure it's tight. Okay, now we're gonna replace the belt guard back onto the washer. You're gonna need a 5 16 nut driver. Uh, two screws, one on the right. As you can see, I'm tightening it up, and the one on the left here. 5 16 really easy. Now the belt is guarded. Lift the washer back up to the upright position, and you're good. Now remove two pieces of tape that I had to keep the lid on while I worked on it. The water line, screw the water lines back onto the inlet valves of the washer. You can start off by hand and then use a pair of pliers to secure them on really well to avoid leaks. Do not tighten, over tighten, just make it really snug. Always check the washer once it's operating again for no leaks, but use your pliers to tighten them up but really snug, but do not over tighten. That could all cause many problems. Now you're gonna wanna turn your hot and cold water back on. You do counterclockwise. You feel the water pressure build up once you turn them counterclockwise. Gonna plug the power cord back up. And you're ready to go. Okay. I'll be doing many, many more how-to step-by-step videos on how to repair appliances. So hit the like button, comment, good or bad, subscribe to the station so you can see these videos. And if I am using a part to repair the appliance, a link will be in the description so you can buy from this channel. Have a good one.